seven months out of the year, this normal neighborhood is pretty quiet. But one day in October, it becomes absolutely dead. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Boney Island. <laughs> Dig this, the most bona fide spectacle this side of the biggest cemetery in Hollywood. Boney Island attractions take over every corner of this family's yard. Well, of course, in October, it keeps the owner from having to mow the lawn. Who would set up such a crazy Halloween house? Why, one of the producers of The Simpsons. Come the on, Marge and Homer of Boney Island are Carla and Rick. Oh, Carla, give me a little sugar there, Mom. <laughs> Love the hair. Well, I uh, just dolled up for you. Once upon a time, Rick got his hands on some cheap skeletons and posed them out on the front lawn. That was eight years ago. I always wanted to design rides, so this is kind of like a walk-through ride, you know, that we do here. Today, Rick has a collection of more than 100 skeletons speaking to us from the grave. Can you hear me now? You want to walk me through? Sure. Show me. After you. All right. Pony Island. Let's go. Come on, now. That's your ticket here. Right here's our Barker. He uh, introduces everybody to what's going on. Now this is your voice, right? Yeah. Just doing lame imitations. That's pretty and, good. Thank you. Behind me is the whirling hurl. Guaranteed to thrill you to the bone, you know. How'd you do that? Somebody came over and gave me a motor that went on one of those old-time bikes, those exercise bikes that yeah. do that. I just figured out adding cauldrons to it. And there's a guy doing caricatures. Since uh, skulls all look the same, they've got the same faces, you know. Take a look at Rick's yard before Halloween. But add hundreds of hours of time, a bunch of skeletons, and the place becomes one big scary county fair. Except all the people are skinnier. He's got a bony ticket taker, an organ grinder complete with bonified monkey, a fortune teller, and the once human cannonball ready to blow. Uh, here's our batting cage. You can see they're hitting bats. And this is a shooting gallery. I just got that dog skeleton from a, a research place where they sell skeletons. That's a real skeleton? No, 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 it's a replica of one, but they sell models to labs and stuff. Next up, the house, where there's more dangerous activity going on. There's the hot air balloon up there. I love the hot air yeah, balloon. That turned out nice. There's a couple of hitchhiking skeletons trying to get a ride. This guy's about to fall off the roof. You know, I'm starting to get an idea why these people aren't living anymore. But I also see how they live it up. And then here's our band. Uh, they're called the Skeletones. Uh, they're playing, uh, the guy's playing the xylophone. And we also have... We also just like a walking uh, fun uh, machine, uh, aren't you? <laughs> so here's the secret to making these things work. All these skeletons are on puppet-like strings, attached to armatures that make the bones go up and down, like the horse on a merry-go-round. During the two-week Halloween season, Rick gets more than 13,000 people traipsing over his lawn and ogling his ghouls. Have you been to a bunch of other haunted houses? Nothing is as good as this. This is the best one? Best. The best. The best. I guess this would be a good time to explain the secrets of the nerve center. Not that skeletons have nerves or anything. There's about 40 channels of audio that we have mixed in that go out. Welcome to Hollywood. He's got a brick and an Emmy <laughs> holding down a curtain. You got, you, gotta, you gotta get something with weight and they're pretty darn heavy. Outside the control room in the front yard, we have the ever popular goldfish attraction. Well, that's authentic. Those carnival fish never live. There's also Rick's version of the classic whack-a-mole. Of course here, it's whack-a-ghoul. I love the whack-a-ghoul. That's new this year, I think. That was really fun. Yeah, fun. If you're not the ghoul on the bottom. There's some ginormous spider webs in the trees and on the ground. Where do you keep everything? We have skeletons in our attic, skeletons in our closet. Yeah, everywhere. We had to get two storage units. To oh, I'm sure you got skeletons yeah, in your closet. That. <laughs> There's so much stuff that Rick starts assembling skeleton parts in July. To get ready for Halloween, he's setting it up before Labor Day. So basically, he's not around for two months because he's outside on the roof. Working on corpses at two in the morning, right, you know. Right, right. And on Halloween, the place is thick with little innocent goblins. 
Now, how did you hear about it? My sister's agent emailed us. See, only in Los Angeles, my sister's agent emailed us. On Halloween, there's nothing like a cold one when you're, well, as dry as a bone. And that rotten Halloween candy hasn't hurt Rick and Carla's two girls. Do you enjoy Halloween? Yeah, yeah very much. Because you know your parents are a little crazy, right? Oh, yeah. The whole family. The whole fa But you're in the family. That's that would make you crazy. Yes. Yeah. What does this cost you every holiday season? Um, does it vary? It's, yeah, it's probably around six to 8000 it seems like, every... I know, it's stupid. <laughs> No, this is fabulous. So that's Pony Island. Well, I had a great time. No, no bones about it. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm the pun machine. I know you're the pun machine. Thank you very much, Rick. Thank All you. Right, thanks Thank a lot. You. Happy Halloween.